G'day mates, how's it going? I'm Mr GT, welcome to the channel. And is that the best intro we've had or what? With the V8 growl as I am in. With Sasha, can anybody guess what car I'm in before I turn it around? Okay, you've had your three seconds worth. <laughs> we are in the XEESP. And we're going for a cruise down to Appen because there's a car show happening over there. And uh, since I'm in it, we might as well do a little review of this car. So I'm going to be talking to Sasha about the car. So grab that nice icy cold beer, sit back, relax, and enjoy this incredible video. Show you the outside of um, Sasha's car that we were just in. 5.0 bed to see how immaculate it is, eh? And there's a uh, close up of the shaker, the interior, the seats that I was talking about, how beautiful they are, and comfy, and they hug you. And the wheels are very, very neat car. jump in look at this beautiful interior I feel ashamed to get in <laughs> All right, good morning George. lads how are, how are you there session? George I appreciate the ride mate thank Not you very a problem, much mate. Hey, yeah you nice. going all good that's all the way good. look at the shaker moving ladies and gentlemen that's what it's all about absolutely so, just a bit of history on this car, or the XESP, that came out in um, 1982, and it was supposedly the last Ford V8, and everybody I remember was very, very sad, and everybody was sad because Holden continued their V8, and they had a motto saying uh, something like, um, V8 till 98 back then from what I remember even though they 98 came and they continued with the V8 which was good they dropped that motto and then um, what year was it when Ford bought the V8 again do you guys remember Jeez, way back in the oh, 90s late 90s I think it was the um, e, EA EB, the, EA, the EB, the EB I think yes so when the EB uh, model came out the Ford Falcon, that's when Ford bought the V8 again. But it wasn't the Cleveland, it was um, a motor from the States, I think, from memory, wasn't it? The Windsor. The Windsor, it was, um, what was the displacement? 302? 302. Yeah, 302. Like later. So, yeah, we were all happy that Ford bought the V8 again, and then you've seen a few of the GTs that have come out in my videos. They were one of the first cars, they ZB GTs. But yeah, these cars here, some came out with a 4.9 litre 302, some came out with a 5.8 litre, the 351 cubic inch. And the one we're in now, so this car's got the 351. And it sounds sweet. These cars had a distinctive interior, they had an um, extra special handling package on them and I can actually feel it in the car. The way it rides, I'm not driving it so I'm not fearing the actual handling, but I can actually feel the ride quality and it is beautiful. So Sasha, when did you buy this car? Uh, we bought it nearly three years ago now. Um, yeah, bought it all four day. Oh wow! Yeah, at all four day, huh? Yep. Yeah. It lasted. Uh, the guy had the for sale sign for about 20 minutes on there. As soon as I came around, asked him the price, and I said, "Take the sign off." He says, "What?" I said, "Yeah, I want to buy it." He said, "What?" <laughs> and that was the end of it. <laughs> we got it that day. Well, we put a deposit on that day, and a week later we picked it up. 
that's fantastic, man. Yes. That is, mate, that's a great story to remember too. You know, like the way it happened, they yeah, absolutely. All four day, like memories of a no, beast. No, for sure. A beautiful beast like this. And mate, you got a beauty. So, have you done anything to it since you bought it? Lots. Lots and lots of things. And there's still lots of things we want to get done to it. I want to put a, a nice um, uh, center diff now. I want to put a true track in it uh, with um, with three five gears. Because this is just highway gears now. And So, what's it got? Three O's now? Oh, it's three two fives. Two, two, um, oh, two seven fives. Two seven fives, whatever they are, they yeah, very. Two seven fives are usually in the autos, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, whatever the manuals came out in, and that's all it is. So it's pretty basic. Yep. So we okay. want three fives, so, give it a bit more, yeah. get up and go. Could be three O's. Yeah, the three fives will be perfect. I had three sevens in my XA from two seven five because from C four I went to top loader. But then I ended up getting three sevens for it, but I wished I got three fives. Three seven were just a little bit too much. Three yes. fives would be perfect for sprints, acceleration, and also for cruising. Absolutely. You won't be ripping the tits off it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. The beauty about this is this is a five speed gearbox. So I've got the oh, over, yes. overdrive as well. So Beautiful. three fives. Yeah. It'll be very sweet. Yeah, and fifth gear on these isn't one to one ratio, fourth gear is. Yep. Something like 0.75, so yes, that, you'll take advantage of that for sure. Absolutely. Fantastic. Ladies and gents, I'm very jealous. I wish I had one of these, and especially now that I've jumped in it, and the way the ride quality feels, it's just addictive. You don't want to get out, and the way the seats hug you, and they're comfortable as well, just no words for it. It feels at home in here. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just talking to Sasha a little bit before we spoke about how we bought the car. But nine years before, he had seen this car at all four day. Again, well not again, because again was the second time when he bought it. But the first time when he saw it, he wanted it. But back then, the situation was that he couldn't get it and he wished he had it and then what yeah, happened mate absolutely so yeah there, it was for sale and um it was a croatian guy that actually built this car um yeah so um from ground up i think it's been about oh sh i think he did it about 12 years ago resprayed it uh fixed everything up um and then he had to sell it so i saw it there took a photo of it and um and i couldn't afford it at the time so then nine years later, I see it up for sale again. And this time I had the money and so I jumped on it. And uh, I absolutely love this car. And I'll, this car will be my son's car eventually. Mate, that's fantastic. How good's that, huh? How it came around and you actually got to have it. Yes. You wanted it, but it came around again and here it is. And she's a beauty. Look look at the shine on that, ladies and gents. I mean, look at the paint job. The shaker, these cars should have come out standard with the shaker. I've always said that because that distinctive movement that you see. So when you give it a bit of stick, the left raises. And then when it idles, it rocks because it's got a bit of a cam. And the way they've designed it, it is a beautiful looking gadget. It's just lovely. And Ford should have had these on all their performance vehicles. In my humble opinion. These XE ESPs, it really suits it. Like you might think, you listen to it, see? Beautiful. We're gonna, we're gonna jump in <laughs> that station wagon and take that boy over with the hat. <laughs> yes, George, wait till I tune it. We're gonna get it tuned as soon as I possibly can, um, and they'll get the best performance out of it. There's. Um, it's not as good as I want it to be, 
but it's going to be a lot better. And with the gearing as well, when we change that, this yep. car will fly. What car do these have? Uh, this has got a 750 double pumper. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, you know, you need to find a good old school mechanic that knows how to tune these hollies. I know there's still a lot around, because there's a lot of these cars around, but yep. yeah, most of the mechanics these days have got all that sorted with the electronics. They just get on the computer, the ECU, and just get the air fuel ratios punching numbers. But this here, you need a good E and um, a good little wrist with a screwdriver. Oh yeah. We've got John Fennick Race Motors who, um, who will be doing the tune. And um, they did Matt's car, and Matt's car is so responsive it's not funny. Excellent. So, yep, I, I hope mine is like that. Um, yeah, we got it. We had, we, when we bought the car, it was actually dynoed and it had uh, 361 horsepower in the rear, this car. Wow. So when so we tune it, it should um, be even more responsive. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Mm. Yeah, that's impressive, man. 361 at the wheels. Yes. That's like, what, close to 500? It's got some, it's got some power. Somewhere around the 450 mark, I think, yeah. Once you hit over a certain rev range, over 3,000 RPMs, this yeah, it gets kicks, up and goes up. This kicks into motion. It's crazy. It starts to get scary. Fantastic. Have you taken it down the corner? Not yet. No. Once After it's tuned, tune, we'll, yeah. I might think about doing that. Will you have to invite me over? Absolutely, George. And um, we'll set the car up. Well, I've got three cameras, so we'll have three different angles, and I'll be filming from the outside as well. We'll also put the race box in it. And uh, we'll be able to compare the time on the race box and uh, the time from the actual official time and see um, how much off the race box is, which I've tried it on my car and it's only been like 0.02 of a second difference, which is quite impressive. Listen to that verbal as we cruise, eh? It's just music to my ears. You don't need a stereo with these cars. I love the way it winds here. With these gears, you've got low ripping and the car is flying. Oh, that's going to change with the three fives. Oh yeah. It's going to be a lot more snappier. But, um, mate, I love this thing. Look at the presence on the road and the view the driver has. All right, it's on the opposite side, but that's roughly what he's seeing. If this car, car was in Europe and the steering wheel was on this side, that's what the driver sees. You don't want to get out. <laughs> it's a driving experience. 100%. And especially with the steering. This, I love cars that the steering doesn't move in the straight ahead position. And Ford's always had that because I remember my XA was like that as well. Even though there was no power steering, there was no movement in the steering at all on my one and when I bought the car I was very impressed like when I first drove it when I went for the test drive I wasn't expecting that but that's the first time I experienced something like that and I loved it and ever since then I always concentrate on that when I um, jump in cars or even drive them big difference to the bus in the bus I've got like about ooh, I would say there is at least probably 10 centimeters of play in the straight ahead position so you're driving and you can move the steering wheel like that and it's still going straight Jesus. <laughs> Ford made those cars beautifully and I don't want to disappoint the um, European uh, fanatics of Ford but I think that the Australian Fords are better because I've been in Greece and I've driven quite a few European Fords and not as good as the Australian Falcons. 
just love that sound, that acceleration. Pinning you back into the seat, trying to reach for the dashboard. You can't grab onto it. So what is it? And I've just spotted a beautiful looking rev counter. It looks like a mini autometer actually. Very nice. So you haven't touched the engine, anything yourself, eh? No, Apart not, from tune-ups or whatever, not like yet. the standard. Not yet. Not yet. We've only done a lot of cleaning up. We've changed the suspension in it, changed the rims and tyres, um, and paint painted inside around the doors, painted inside the boot, painted underneath the car, uh, new carpet in the rear. Engine bay, painted. Painted um, the rocker covers. Uh, there's a whole heap of things that we didn't like and um, yeah so we we've been fixing it up slowly so the suspension mm. changed did you go stock again or have you no done... um, they're Coney adjustables okay um, and they're nice and firm so I wanted that firm ride I wanted yep. that that stance yes. and it sits really really nice it's got Bill's uh, it's got um, Munro uh, sh um, shocks uh, Munro springs, uh, springs yeah and uh, Coney uh, shocks so yeah, yes, mate, and it you're sits right. It's nice. The it does sit nice. We've seen it a few times. Mm -hmm. Filmed in the car parks of the car shows, but you're right. The ride quality it's is unbelievable, fantastic. It? it it's mm. cr fantastic. The ride quality is firm, but it's nice. It's a comfortable firmness. Very, very comfortable. And no rattles, no bangs no. and stuff like it. It's just beautiful. Idles very nicely. So the adjustable setting, you'd have it, what setting would you have it like? Three quarters of the way up roughly, half or? Uh, it's about half, yes. About half, yeah. Yep. It's just right. Just a nice medium. Perfect. Mm. And I've thrown it around a couple of times, and uh, wow, it just doesn't move. It's just yeah. really nice. The handling is spot on. Yep. Yeah, I could feel it, even though, you know, like, we're taking it easy, you know, like cruising here. I mean, we can't break any, yep. break the law and the speed limits, but it did feel very firm. There was no, um, no rocking. Uh, the car turned. There was no um, swaying and nothing. Beautiful. One thing that I noticed was that even the bumps, it just takes them so beautifully. There's no, there's no crash bangs. It uh, just takes it comfortably, beautiful. And uh, the rear seat, we spoke about the front seats, how they hug you and how comfortable they are. But the back is like a lounge chair, mate. And um, oh, what's your name again? Nat. Nat. Yeah, social son Nat. And um, Nat was saying like. He's fallen asleep in this car a few times when um, they've gone for a cruise. And I'll tell you what, with all this noise, to be able to do that, mate, it must be very, very comfortable in the back there and very cosy. So that's what I'm talking about, that feel. Look how bumpy this road is. Yet this car is just taking us so smoothly. It just absorbs everything nicely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of the video. I would like to thank Sasha over here for hey guys. giving us all that information on his car and giving us a ride and letting us review the car. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Don't forget to pound the subscribe button, punch that notification bell, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>